kind of feel like it looks like fall out here. <laughs> First the colors are in there vibrant. Now if you only had a doorbell that I could bang my head up again. <sighs> I hate some ladders. It works. Welcome to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald OC. And, uh, well, we just finished up another big weekend here at the OC Homestead. Well, as you can see right here, Right there. I got light on the well house right now. That's one thing that uh, everyone's been wanting is some light on the well house. Uh, you know, some lighting lighting out here uh, near the parking pad for the tiny house. But also, I did one other thing. Actually, I did two other things. But here's the other thing I did. I added a light right there. Uh, uh, this is... This is harder than you think. There you go. I did. A, I put a light right there. I just put the light bulbs in. Still got to put up the ladder. But yeah, that should add a little bit of good lighting to this area. All right. We also uh, worked on uh, locating all of our lines. This is a busy spot right here. This is the busiest spot in between the tiny house to the trailer house. Um, this is a busy spot. We got right here, all this, this whole hill has got to be hand dug whenever we do work out here. Uh, the reason why is we got uh, a hot water loop right here. We got cold water uh, supply to the tiny house. Then the cold water supply to the trailer house. We got a uh, poop pipe uh, and a gray water pipe uh, right here. Uh, poop pipe goes to a septic system that's right here for the tiny house. And that goes to a leach field that's running out this way. Well, the reason why we located all this out here is because this coming, well, actually tomorrow, Monday, they're supposed to be coming out to install a septic system for the trailer house. And, well, I got electrical wiring coming from the tiny house where our, dist our main distribution point is for the property. Coming down to here to power up the trailer house. So I also got the cold water supply that supplies cold water to the trailer house. In the near future, in the near future, I will have a, not only the cold water supply coming to the house, but a hot water loop coming from the tiny house. We're going to be extending the hot water loop from the tiny house to uh, the trailer house also. In addition to that, we're going to be installing a hot water loop from um, uh, a boiler. We're going to be adding an outdoor wood boiler to our setup here. Um, we, we're opting not to go with the indoor fireplace. Uh, and we're going to go with the outdoor wood boiler. So we're going to be adding that. That's going to heat up our domestic hot water. Which, since we're going to be on a hot water loop with the tiny house, the tiny house gets hot water that way also. Uh, that should lower our cost of energy in the uh, winter time, especially when we're burning the boiler. Anyhow, as you can see, I got this marked right here. Blue line say I got this. The orange flags are for Ethernet cable. I got an Ethernet cable that's going up to the tower to our, um, I think it's a Microtech 5.8 gigahertz dish. That's how we get internet access here uh, on my tower. But I got an Ethernet cable that's ran underground. The blue is for our water line, our domestic cold water supply. 
uh, which runs through here. Uh, I got a um, hydrant that I installed over here. There's a hydrant right there. So we got coal, we got a cold water supply out here to like water the pigs. Um, my, the next time I rent a trencher, I'm going to be going out to the near the rear of our property. And this is you haven't seen this yet, but we have cleared out a lot of our property. Uh, a lot of the trees are, have been taken down. I got right there's a pile. I got a pile of trees right there and a pile of trees right here and then on the other side of this I got a pile of trees uh, we cleaned out another acre of property for our plans for this uh, next year you know our plans for next year to one we're gonna raise some more pigs back here probably in the in the forested area there's a brush pile that we're going to be burning pretty soon. And here's another pile of trees that we're going to have to process. When I say process, what we're doing is we are turning it into firewood. So it's not going to go to waste. It's going to be used to heat up my house and um, the tiny house and probably my mother's house also. But back here we cleared off another acre of land. There's that brush pile. That we're going to be burning pretty soon. But we did this in preparation for next year. We need um, we need grazing area for uh, some farm animals that we're going to be getting for the homestead. Uh, and uh, um, this is going to be it, the area. So that's just a quick update. I want to go put away that ladder and close up our container so I can um, uh, go have dinner. Lizzie's uh, cooking pizza. Thanks for uh, watching. Remember to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and uh, ring that notification bell. And uh, we'll see you on the next update.